All right, a live a little late in the day. So now I can actually fully explain why I drove in yesterday's crazy conditions. Um, because my sister was going back home to surprise a family. And so sometimes some, some of you family members watch my lives. Um, and I don't know who because you can't tell. So I needed to kind of be a little bit cryptic about it. So yeah, that is why yesterday was such a like day of surrender because we had this whole day planned of like, I was going to drive her early, drop her off, come back. And yeah, the highway being closed till five and then driving that late and then last minute booking an Airbnb. Um, so I could stay the night and not drive back in the evening. And then today I drove back and so I'm actually kind of grateful. I was a little worried today in driving back because there is a Facebook group that people give updates about, you know, what's happening on that road, uh, just because there's no s service on that road. And I think only one section has like highway cameras, but other than that, it's very hard to tell like what the conditions of that road is. And everybody was like, there's a lot of flooding. And then some people are like, regular cars won't be able to pass through unless you have a truck. And I was like, oh my God, I'm worried now going back. But what I did is I usually do, I asked the, my spirit team and the universe for guidance. Um, and so basically I was like, you know, there was many options of what I could have done. You know, I could have gone to a hostel or an Airbnb in Port Alberni, a first case. Um, another sc scenario I thought of, I'm like, I could always, like, grab a ride with someone in a truck and leave my car in port because, like, my sister has her car here, so I could always use her car. Like, I had a million and one scenarios that I was like, okay, if I can't get through, here are all the things I can do. And at the end of the day, my safety is more important, right? And even though sometimes, like, you know, right now being in a place where I have like lots of um, big shifts happening, especially around money, you know, my safety is more important than, you know, like a money that would cost to get an Airbnb or a hostel. Um, but I asked my, the universe, I asked the universe and my spirit team, I was like, show me 11, 11 if I should just drive back home and show me 222 if I should get a hostel in Port Alberni. And I saw 1111 and I didn't see 222. So I trusted and went through and honestly it was not that bad. It was probably bad in the morning when everybody went by the time I got there around like 12, 1230. Really not that bad. Like there was only two sections I was flooded but I went right in the middle and I was fine. Uh, definitely still a lot of trees down compared to um, last night. But they were clearing them out. And honestly, I didn't really have an issue. So there is the thing is, is that when what's worse is the anticipation because, you know, I'm watching all the Facebook posts and everybody's just like, it's so bad. It's so bad. And it's just like the anticipation of like, you don't know what you're going to get. But then also it's like, it's perception, right? What is horrible for one person may not be so bad for someone else, depending on what other conditions they've driven on and I've driven in a lot of various conditions being from Montreal um for those of you who are in Montreal you know what I'm talking about we we drive through all sorts of stuff like sometimes it's just kind of like there are certain days that things do shut down but then there's other days where they don't and it's like you gotta go where you gotta go and so yeah, so I've driven, like, between, like, Montreal and between, like, driving in Whistler and here, like, from sharp turns and different freezing rain, snow, all types. So I didn't find it that bad. But when I left, it wasn't that, like, when I left, I left a lot earlier. And so here I am. I'm home. I'm safe. I'm sound. It's all good. And my nose is itchy again. I don't know why it always happens every time I'm on a live. My nose gets itchy. Um, yeah, so other than that, Merry Christmas Eve. Uh, tomorrow's Christmas, Merry Christmas Eve. I just got back from dinner. I was invited to a nice little, like, dinner. Uh, we had lasagna, it was sweet. So it was nice to just go somewhere and have dinner and not uh, be on my own on Christmas Eve. Um, and it's really funny because every year it's like, I have no plans, like, don't know what's happening. And always something pops up last minute for me to, like, spend time with some people. So really grateful for that. Um, 
and now I just got back home at seven o'clock and I'm just gonna chill I'm still exhausted between both drives and so I'm just gonna chill tonight and then tomorrow I, there's a Christmas brunch that I'm going to which is exciting and that's it and that's it after that like honestly like basically the whole plan for the next week is packing moving cleaning <laughs> packing moving cleaning um yeah between like moving to yuki and then like heading to whistler on the 30th um and picking up my sister from the airport on the first so it's just like a lot of movement and then i yeah so a lot of things happening um, and then I'm also doing some cleaning shifts and obviously preparing for some things with my business. Like I have a human design reading, um, not this week, next week, at some point, two human design readings. So I'm excited to prepare for those. That's it. That's that. Yeah. So that's like a life update. Um, I'm obviously going to go on tomorrow because 365 day live, but hope you all are enjoying if you're cel if you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas Eve. Um, if you don't, Happy Holidays. Hope you're enjoying whatever it is that you're doing. Um, and yeah, I will speak to you all tomorrow.